Howdy, welcome to another tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to make this. It's just a simple teleportation script. Well, technically it's a few scripts. Anyway, let's get to making it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make two parts. We're going to have point A and point B. So move these a little bit closer because we're going to be walking to these quite a lot. Alright, so point A, we'll name it point A and make it green. Well, the color doesn't really matter, but I'll make it green. And point B, make it red, and name it point B. And highlight both of them, turn off can collide, turn the transparency to 0 0.5, anchor them, and put them in a folder. And then name that folder, teleportation parts. Inside of the teleportation parts, instead of point A, add a script. And then instead of replicated storage, we're going to need an event because I want to make the screen fade. And you can't do that from a, a server script. So we're going to add a remote event and we're going to name it screen fade. I also want to make the screen a little bit blurry. So instead of lighting, we're going to add a blur. 10 to 0. The size that is. And we need to make the actual black like part of the screen that's going to fade. So inside of, oh, yeah, add a local script. And then inside of screen GUI, add, I mean, instead of server GUI, add a screen GUI. Instead of screen GUI, add a frame named screen GUI frame, or black frame. And then that was a bit of a mouthful. I'm just trying to set this tutorial up quickly though. I don't have a lot of time to record it. So. We're going to change the anchor point of the frame to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and the position to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So I'll give you a moment to just type that in. And now change the background color 3 to be black. And our size, set it to, instead of 100, to 2000. And for the background transparency, set it to 1. So we are all set up now. We can script. Let's just change the name of this to Fade Hand Fade Handler. It's gonna give you the most fire haircut. And point A, we'll just name it to Teleport Script. So, oops. Make sure you save your game. Don't. I'm not gonna save it because it's gonna close Studio. But make sure you save it because yeah, don't be a moron like me. All right. Inside of the teleportation script. All right. So let's set a few variables inside of this script. First, we're going to do local part, equal script, dot parent. And if you don't really understand what that means, this is the script and this is the parent, you know, because the script is inside of this part. So the part's parent will be point A. And we're going to do local end part, which is the part we're teleporting to, equals script dot parent dot parent <laughs> dot point B. Local event equals game dot replicated storage dot whatever we named it so screen replicated storage oh i put that in material storage holy crap that's a mistake and a half okay make sure you move that replicated storage do not put that in material all right dot screen fade all right local teleporting equals false and then we're going to uh, detect if the part was touched so part dot touched connect function and we're gonna get hit. So if we print hit dot name, you'll see. It's printing everything that touched it. So it's getting like my legs. But the problem is we don't want to teleport just a leg. You know, that'd be kind of gory. That'd be a little messed up. So we need to get the actual character. So if this is hits name we can do hit dot parent dot name and you'll see that for the most part it will give me my name but you can still see that it has my cape and that's not gonna work so what we can do is we can do we can check if the player we can check if it's actually like a player so we can do if hit hit dot parent Find first child humanoid because the player has a humanoid. Then, then we can print it. And when you go in here, 
I think of it like adding a filter to your water. There's no longer... Okay. We filtered out all of our grippy accessories and it's just our name now. So, all right. So back inside of our script, we're going to add a few more things. So we'll do local player. Actually, no, 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 no. We need to use our teleporting. So if teleporting equals false, so a double equals basically checks if it's equal to the value you're checking, that makes no sense. Basically, if teleporting equals false, then well, a good way to explain it is if it's just one it's setting it to false so teleporting equals false but if you do two equals it's checking if it's false yeah that's a better way to explain it Oops. all right we're gonna do local player equals game dot players get player from character hit dot parent Uh, let's get rid of all these ugly spaces. I don't know why I'm doing that. All right. So we're going to do hit dot parent dot humanoid dot walk speed equals zero. Then teleporting equals true. We're going to do test dot wait for. And then we're going to do, um, player dot character dot humanoid root part dot C frame equals end r dot c frame we're gonna do hit dot parent ah we could just copy this and we're gonna make it 16 because it's a default speed so we're gonna do teleporting equals false and this part of the script is finished so when you touch the part it's going to stop you from moving it's gonna wait four seconds here okay i'll show you So when we step on it, you can't move. You can move. Now you're probably wondering, why would I want to stop it from moving? It looks kind of janky. Wait, I forgot. You saw the beginning. So let's make it fade. All right. So inside of the... Oh, wait. We forgot something important. We need to fire an event so we can talk to this client script uh, right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take this event name and we're going to go right here and we're going to do event fire a uh, client and put player because we want to fire the specific player we don't want to fire every player because that's not good so on the fade handler we're going to add the event so local event equals game dot replicate storage dot screen fade and we're going to do event dot on client event connect function so when the event is fired it will come here and it'll run this code so we'll do print yes. and it should only print once that's why i added teleporting to the other script so it doesn't spam when you step on it it will only do once and as you see we have a yes so can now add the code to make the screen fade so let's add a few more variables. We're gonna need local queen service equals game get service queen service. I'm just doing TS because it's a lot easier to type a lot faster. Local black frame equals script.parent dot black frame dot frame and local oops the coal blur equals game dot lighting dot blur. So when you step on this part, team service create. And then we're going to do black frame queen info dot new three so you want to wait three seconds in our curly brackets background transparency equals zero so we're going to make it fade in and you're going to put a little colon play then we're going to do the same thing for the blur we're going to copy this blur and instead of background transparency we're going to change the size capital s and we're going to change zero to 20. Then we're gonna do test.wait4. One more second, then it takes a teleport. Copy these, and we're gonna set background transparency to one and size to zero. So when you step on that part, there you go. 
That's pretty nice. And in order to finish it up, you just turn the transparency to one. And so you don't like kind of pop to the ground. You can raise the point, like the end point off the ground a little bit. All right, so if you walk into our invisible part, it will fade and go blurry, and we'll be at our end point. Now you're probably wondering why your direction changes. So let's make these both visible again. And if you go in here, you can see show indica uh, orientation indicator. You can see that this is the front. So if we were to change it like this and walk into it again. Instead of facing towards the green, we're going to face away from the green now. As you can see, it works. So, all right. So I think it'd be pretty cool if we also made the player's character fade away. So instead of our teleporting script, we are going to add clean service. So local clean service equals game dot get service clean service. So we have our clean service, and now above this event, we can do I be in pairs player dot character get ascendance so we can get everything on the player do and we're gonna do if B is a face part or B is a mesh part then so we're basically checking to see if it's like the player's arms or if it's their clothing like their accessories they're wearing but we want to exclude one thing, which is the humanoid root part, because if we make that visible, it's going to leave like a white box in your chest. So we can just do if b.name not equal to root part. And so now we just exclude the humanoid root part. So we can just add a simple tween, tween service, create b, tween info dot new 1.5. And then transparency equals one. So this will basically take everything that the player is wearing and make it invisible. So for testing purposes, I'm just gonna, you can already see in my script, I've blanked out both of the black frame tweens, like both the uh, black frame tweens. So you can just do that. Or actually you can go here to GUI black frame and just uh, disable it to so make visible false. So when we touch that part now, we'll just permanently fade away. But you'll see that it works. We faded. So all we have to do is take this code, copy it. I'm gonna add task.wait1 and in between oops, no. Task.wait. Wait one, right after the uh, teleportation. So it's gonna move us and then it's that code and change this one to a zero. And if you play the code, we'll play the game. God, I cannot speak today. You'll see that we fade away. We're in our, oh. oh, sorry. There we go. Actually, let's fix my code. I don't know why I spelled tween service here. Let's do TS, copy it. All right, everything looks neat now. I'm not thinking right now. But if you step on here, you'll fade out, teleport, and your character will fade in. I think that looks pretty cool for a teleport. Oh, and just make sure you turn your uh, black frame back on, like you make it visible again. So yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching my tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.